That's it. What's the plan?
round's over. safe too, even if she's still out cold. Tamao-san's all right? Really? I know you've all been assuming these are the Sentinel cockpits, but they're not. They've always been something else entirely. Then, where are we? If my communications are reaching you, that means you're now outside universal control. You're saying we're out of that virtual city space? Does that mean... This is the real world. Real world? What are you talking about? The five sectors you know? They're artificial worlds. We've been living in a virtual reality. That wasn't real. We were born within the simulation. We spent our whole lives in a waking dream. And now, we're finally awake. We're back in reality. Wait, Jiro-kun. Aren't we supposed to be on a different planet now? That was like, the whole point of interstellar development, wasn't it? Minami's right. This is a whole different planet. And I think we're in one of the five sectors. Almost, amikuchi kun This isn't Earth. But I don't think it's a residential district at ground level. I think it's a pod facility. Where we've all been sleeping. So, does that mean... Everything up until now was just one big illusion? Even if that's true, what we lived was real. What we felt was real. This was Fluffy's plan all along. Or, well, Juro Izumi's plan. The one he brought from the ruined world. It was your only chance. No other escape plan had any possibility of survival. By reconnecting the terminal link, the main 
mainframe detects abnormal conditions. It then initiates the emergency escape procedure. That's what he found out. So that was 426's plan. But there was one more issue that prevented escape. Namely, your bodies. You weren't ready to live outside of the pods. What? Is that what this cockpit was for? You couldn't survive outside that environment. Your bodies needed conditioning to sustain your lives unaided. It was a very long process. We had to give you all the preparation time you needed. So, are we done cooking in here? Can we get out yet? Yes. The growth process has finally come to an end. So what happens to everyone else back in the city? I knew you would ask me about that. It's part of why I didn't explain the details sooner, but... They are not human. They only exist within the simulation. All 1.2 million people. Everyone who lived in those sectors. They were all AI. Created and managed by Universal Control. That's... not going to be easy to accept. If it's any comfort to you, the Professor saved all their data. They haven't been erased. They all still exist. <sighs> Please, no more secrets. What was this whole interstellar development project for? Was all this stuff with the kaiju part of the plan? Testing us? Actually, it might have been because of the old me. The Ryoko Shinonome of 2188 tried to sabotage the plan. Maybe that's why the Daimos appeared. She wanted to stop it. I... She was sick of humanity. Sick of the despair. I saw the logs from those who were there in the final days. And the end was... truly horrific. <sighs> so what can we expect from this new planet? I think we're due some basic information if we're going to live here. It is approximately 1,200 light years from Earth, in the direction of the Virgo constellation. The planet is RS-13 Alpha. It has two moons. The time elapsed since departing the solar system is... Okay, okay, that's good for now. Any more of this crap in my head's gonna explode. If you say so. In any case, this will be your new Earth. The satellite's about to enter the atmosphere. In a couple moments, you'll lose your connection to the command ship. But before that, please allow me to offer a word of apology. I believed this plan would be impossible. After all, some of you had never even piloted a Sentinel before. I thought I would just throw everything into the plan. That way I could at least end this with no regrets. But... Against all odds, you pulled it off. No matter how far technology may come, it's humanity who always seems to make miracles come true. You've done well, children of mankind. Once you're out of your pots, I can't talk to you anymore. But I'll always be watching over you from my place in the sky. Don't ever forget that. If you're watching this footage, that means Project Ark was a success. You have left Earth behind. But you are now on a planet terraformed to be a second Earth. Probes were scattered into space in search of viable planets. I can't say how far your planet is from Earth, but even the closest candidate planet is 12 light years away. It may have been tens of thousands of years. No. <laughs> It's likely an even more astronomical amount of time has passed. Unfortunately, by the time you watch this, humanity will have gone extinct. In the end, we couldn't save Earth from ruin. But you are our reincarnations, our successors. And you stand on an uncharted world full of new hope. Having reached 18 years of age, you'll now undergo a two-year program of special training. This will give you some vital
vital knowledge for daily life and future development. Once you're finished with that program, you can finally take your first steps into your new homeland. Hello everyone. I am Tamal Kurabe. My specialty is AI, and that's what I'll be providing in this program. As I've been asked, I'll provide what explanation I can. We're transporting a massive cache of genetic information to the new world. There will be cloning and species restoration efforts for all kinds of flora and fauna, including humans. The 15 of you, however, will be direct descendants, generated from those who survived this ordeal. Together, you will rebuild the human race anew. However, while the flora and fauna can mostly be left to their own devices, we cannot say the same of you remaining humans. After all, what makes us human is the succession and evolution of our culture and knowledge. These you will inherit from us and cultivate. While you grow and gestate within your life pods, you will be dreaming and learning about life on Earth. Until at last you reach 20 years of age. We may never know for sure if this will succeed, but if it does work, that would truly be a dream come true. If you are out there somewhere, if you can hear me, please keep weaving the tapestry. Keep the history of humanity alive. Those videos just now. So those were meant to play if everything went according to plan. I guess the idea was for us to step outside at 20 years old. It's so dark. The pod opened. Where is everyone? Here. Stand up slowly. Your eyes will get used to the light outside in no time. Yakushiji. You're the last one awake, Jiro. Everyone's already outside. Come on. What's the matter? You look so surprised. Just thinking. This must be the real you, Yakushiji. Do I seem that different? Now I can feel you next to me. I can feel your heart beating. We can finally touch each other. With real hands. Real skin. So, it's all over. What do we do now? Let's go join the others. This plan was meant to save the human race. We already know what we're going to do now.
reboot complete. Universal control appears to be operating normally. Things seem fine here as well. The terminal connected without any issues. Sector 4 has come back online. I knew you could do it, Itakun. After all that, I'm glad I gave you full control. Tommy, I have to know. I assumed you'd hate me after everything. That you'd think me a monster. I was alone after I shifted to the command ship, but in my darkest hour. Do you know whose ID I relied on? Shu Amiguchi's. Because, no matter what form he takes, there's one man I've always counted on. It's you, Itakun. It's always been you. Don't you know that by now? I just... all I ever wanted was to be with you. <sighs> if it's possible, I'd like to join you. Wherever you are. You'd come here? That would be great. But... maybe it should wait until after all the sectors are back. Is that all? I'll have it done in a heartbeat. <laughs> you doubt me? No. No doubts at all, Itakun. The man I fell in love with can do anything. The command ship is about to cross the horizon. It'll be goodbye. At least for another 14 hours. Yes. But until we're cut off, could I hear you sing again? Okay. Look at that. Never thought I'd be back here. You really never cease to amaze me. So, how's life on the outside? It's been five years since we exited the simulation. We now have two bases established above ground. Somehow, we've achieved some measure of stability. The facilities are now operational. We're learning all kinds of new technologies. Ryoko and I have a new project. We're looking into using the pods to recreate the people of this city. We found research notes from Ryoko Shinonome, the genetic engineer. Now we know enough to manipulate genetic information. It's definitely possible. Don't you agree? Sounds familiar. From before the plan, right? I suppose she was working on something like that. So you want to use the pods to make AI into true humans? I don't know when we'll be ready, but even if it takes years, we want them to see the second Earth. We'd welcome them. Well then, sounds like you're doing just fine. I guess I won't need to step in and lead you after all. I've heard a lot about you, Professor. Could we ask you to review our research? Well, I suppose you did win the bet. Fine, I can manage a peer review. Thank you, Professor Morimura. Is he back here, too? Yes. Miura is also here. Then I'm going to have to visit him. We're family, after all. Please, wait. Allow us to accompany you. Let's go, Ryoko. Yeah. Time no see. Whoa! Usami. What? This is how you used to look? Why? Falling for me all over again? Jeez, I forgot you used to be so... flat. Man, am I lucky you filled out. 
You are such an ass. You know, I didn't forget you calling me Dogface. Screw you, Captain Pompadour. Anyhow, I'm not coming home tonight. So you better finish up and go. You're watching the kids. Kids? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's step over here, Miwa-chan. What was that about? Nothing, nothing. Osami-chan, come on. Sorry. Where did A go? <sighs> you know, he's never been great with this stuff. Antisocial as always, huh? He said he was gonna hang back and monitor everyone's pugs. Oh well. Are you two saying you both have boyfriends now? Uh, what? No, of course not. Don't worry about all that, okay? Today's just for us girls. What do you feel like eating? Well, there you go. All's well that ends well. I mean, duh, man. I was inside your nano machines. Of course I'd be here. That's how I came out of the pod with you, too. We'd never have come so far without you, Izumi-san. After all you did to get the new facilities up and running. Hey, come on, man. Remember, I'm Kyuta Shiba here. <laughs> Got it. Shibakun. Man, look at this, Juro. Everything's back how it used to be. Still, there are definitely gonna be some inconsistencies. We basically forced a reset to right before the disaster. You worry too much, Juro? Inconsistencies aren't a big deal. Universal control can handle that stuff. <laughs> I guess so. My data's all in this place now, anyway. So you're gonna be on your own from now on. I know. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The one I got today is gonna blow your mind. What do you say? Movie night? <laughs> of course. Shiro. Megami. Wow. I guess I didn't realize how rugged you'd become in these last five years. You're so cute back here. But you? You're as gorgeous as you always were. Uh, frickin' gross. Is that why you two came back here? To slobber all over each other? Barf. Cooing over each other like brain-dead lovebirds. my son Ugh, this is so boring. Please, do you really have to act like that now? Ah, uh, fine. Guess I'm just a third wheel here anyway. Shibakuna. You should come over to our house later. I'll have a feast ready. You know I love that cat food. <sighs> You'd better show up tonight. Oh, Kitaro. Hey, Ninji. I certainly remember that hairstyle. Best one there is. You waiting for Natsuno? Yes, we're supposed to meet up here. Yeah, I can see it. Gonna be wrapped around her little finger for life. Oh! Ogata! Been waiting for you. Wajima. Put him up, asshole. We're gonna settle this beef once and for all. Wait a minute. Really? You've been waiting all this time... for me? I... uh... yeah? God damn it. This is the most beautiful shit I ever heard. What the hell's your problem? Wajima, dude... God, it's good uh -huh. to see you too, man. I'm gonna punch your lights out! Yeah, do it! Give me your best shot! Anything you want, man. Hey, boss. I think he's crying. Oh, Gata. You, you okay, man? You didn't eat something bad, did you? Sorry to keep you, Keitaro-kun. Not so no, son. I just had to stop by the lockers. Your eyes are red. Were you crying? Well, yeah, cuz... 
I finally got to see him again. Hey. He was restored? With everything he had before the erasure? It's BJ, all right. And he's got all his data. The same data that we're still using today. He's always been saving us. We've only been able to return here thanks to you. We owe you so much. I love you are the incredible ones. Mira, how would you like to enter my nanomachines and go to the outside world? You take me? Yeah, PJ. I've got room for you in my nanomachines, too. Maybe. Let me think about it. Well, for now, should we get going? So, where are you taking me today? I'm taking you home. It's about time you met my parents. They've got to meet my future husband. What? Right now? Not chan Yuki-chan, did you just get here? Konatsu was so fussy today. Took forever to get into the pod. Cause Konatsu loves mommy so much. She looks just like you, you know? Spitting image of you when we were kids. When I look at her, sometimes I feel like she's as much your kid as mine. Well, I don't know if I had any hand in it. Anyway, I heard the news. Finally getting hitched, huh? <laughs> Gotta say, Keitaro needs to unclench a little. I I'm just trying to take this seriously. This is a chance to take responsibility. You definitely take it more seriously than somebody I know. Okay, so, when's the big day? Well, for today, I'm just taking him to see my folks. Wow, meeting the in-laws. <laughs> Man, now that takes me back. I wonder how your mom's doing. Let's go see her. What about you, Kun? What about that sleaze bag? Yuki. Here you are. Amiguchi Kun. <laughs> oh, come on. We came out all this way and you're still mad? Nothing even happened. Did you seriously hit on Shinonome-san? After all this shit about always being on the ladies' side, too. No, it was just some leftover crap from Tetsuya Ida's memories. I don't want to hear it. Konatsu's all I need. Yeah, you're right. I've been a real idiot. Now I've got a wife and daughter I'd give anything to see happy. <laughs> I'd never find anyone better than you anyway. Not in this time. Or any other. Look, you can't smooth talk me. You don't get off that easy. You know, I've been wanting to show you my place here. Well, too bad. I'm going to Nachan's place. Let's go. Give me a call later. I'll come pick you up on the bike. Go on, Yuki-chan. You should spend some time with him. Ah, uh, fine. If you really think so, Nachan. I'll give him a call. Maybe. This is it, Tamal son. See? It's been 40 years, but it's still the place we know. Yes. This certainly brings back memories. Sector 5 is almost restored, too. When it's ready, we should take Keitaro back on a visit home. Just the three of us. It makes me think, if we really came this far in just 40 years, then we can rebuild our future out there, too. Hijiyama-kun! So this is why you left me behind? Sneaking off for a date? You must think you're a real playboy now. Finally here, Okino? As usual, you're... <sighs> Oh my! How adorable! You're back in the Kiriko-chan dress. What's the matter, Hijiyama-kun? <laughs> a dress isn't enough to get a rise out of me anymore. It's been five whole years, you know? I've come a long way. You still don't get it? Come on, think about it. This is a virtual world. It's not just the clothes. I can be whatever I want here. What? Wait, you... You don't mean... Hey, check if you want. What? You can't just tell me to... What? 
Now, of all times, you lose that confidence? <sighs> you absolute cad! You know that's not the issue here. Ugh. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> My Takatoshi-san. You really do like Okinokun, don't you? I... I don't know about that. Well, this is a Takatoshi-san I'm not used to. A bit more dramatic uh, these days, isn't who he? Who might this be? Two Tamao-sans? Yeah. This is number 18. So, she's the Tamao-san from the loop before us. Her mind is housed inside this android. It's not like she's a stranger, so I brought her back, too. Ah, uh, how do you do? So you're the other me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, anyhow, no point just standing around here. Let's go outside. You seriously brought her here? This gross, shady old shack? I knew you were a lost cause when it comes to dates, but this is just sad. Or were you gonna jump her? You really are positively shameless, aren't you? Ah, oh, well, I suppose I'd better step in. Here, if you want to know where couples go, I'll show you around. Number 18, Tim Alson's all yours. We'll be just fine. Wait a minute, what's all this about couples? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Why should I listen to you? Stop being such a baby already. I still don't quite understand. I don't know what it was like for all of you, or... Maybe I just want to know what really came of all our efforts. Then let's talk. It'd be my pleasure to explain. It took an incredible amount of time, but... What they achieved truly was... A miracle. Sorry to keep you waiting. What's up, Ms. Morimura? So, what is this about? I hope you have an explanation, Juro. <sighs> it's about a promise. I told you I'd rescue you. You still remember? Yes. I remember. I know it took a while, but I was hoping we could have a fresh start. A fresh start? Yeah. Didn't we make another promise? We said once the dust finally cleared, we'd talk, right? I remember that too. There was one more thing. You probably don't remember this one, so I'll just say it again. I love you. That I don't remember. <sighs> I remember being in love with you. I'd never forget that. <laughs>